Here we see the parcels of Sheboygan County, Wisconsin in ArcMap. Now we, now we know that parcel editing is the foundation for local governments around the world. That's why I'm excited to show you a powerful way to edit parcels in ArcGIS Pro 2.4 using the new parcel fabric. Let me show you how it works. We'll zoom into an area where there's a couple parcels that we want to edit. Now, a typical workflow for a map technician is to take these two parcels and merge them together. I'll enter a valid identification number and click Merge. Now, I realize that was simple, but what's really exciting is what's happening behind the scenes with the parcel fabric. The fabric keeps track of the legal area of all the recorded transactions. Turning on the tax history layer, we see that parcel lineage was maintained. Merge has also combined the square footage of the two original parcels. All of this was done automatically. <laughs> now, let me show you how to create your own parcel fabric to get started. In ArcGIS Pro, there's a geoprocessing tool that allows you to upgrade existing parcel fabrics that you've created in ArcMap. Or if you're starting from scratch, you can migrate existing simple feature classes in just a few easy steps, starting with the geoprocessing tool Append. Simply select your polygon layer, set your target, map the schema, and then click Run. Next, we want to enable the parcel topology, create the legal records, and then let the parcel boundaries build. And finally, I want to automatically generate the Kogo measurements. Let me select all the lines and then click Update. And just like that, all the lines have had their Kogo measurements computed. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? That's how easy it is to create a parcel fabric in ArcGIS Pro. Let's go and do another edit. Another typical workflow begins with legal documents like these. This first deed states that I need to do a boundary line adjustment. To begin processing this transaction, we start by creating a new record in the parcel fabric. I'll enter the recorder's ID number and click Create. Now I'll select the parcels, copy their lines to the active record, and then delete the original boundary line. Now this deed also states that I need to take this curve and divide it into two 45-foot segments. The powerful thing about this tool is that I can choose to distribute the remaining length proportionally. Next, I'm going to start the new boundary line from this corner. And using keyboard shortcuts, I can easily make this line parallel to existing edges. Using on-screen constraints, I can directly edit my measurements in the map. Next, I'll complete this adjustment by connecting the boundary line to the center of the divided curve. Now I'm ready to build my parcels. And there you go. I just completed this deed change in under one minute. <laughs> and finally, in ArcGIS Pro 2.4, the parcel fabric is designed to work for the single user deployment using a file geodatabase like you've seen here. But we can take this to scale with larger projects like Harris County, Texas, with over 1.4 million parcels utilizing feature services for multi-user editing. These same services, when published to Portal, can be viewed by other departments and the public, ensuring that they always see live, authoritative parcel data. These were just a few of the many enhancements to support parcel editing in ArcGIS Pro 2.4. Thank you.